Good morning, everybody. This is uh, Sapna from Sapna Master IELTS. And I have uh, here in front of you IELTS recent actual test 2021 with answer key. It was a reading passage one, which came on 25th February 2021. And the name of the passage was Copy Your Neighbor. And I have that in front of you. You can use that, you can do the reading and you can check your answers. Uh, also the reading answers are there at the end of it. So you can check whether your answers were correct or they were wrong. You can practice the reading here only and that is free for all of you. So mind it, I'll be solving it out. Few questions just for you so that you understand what was there and how did you find the answer? So let's see, there is no animal uh, that symbolizes reinforced diversity. So first of all, your task is to do, you will mark the keywords. Suppose I will just mark uh, the keywords here spectacularly, then tropical butterfly, anyone lucky enough to determine so these kind of words, and it's not necessary what word I am doing it, you will do the same thing. No, and don't go for the meaning of it. Just go with the context, whether you understand it or you not. Right now, I'm just talking to you, but at the same time, I'm marking the keywords. This is called skimming, right? But I am not looking for any of the things which might tell me the meanings of it. I am just underlining the words which would be good, which would be important according to me. Those could be the verbs, the nouns, anything. In this way, you will complete the whole passage and it will take just five minutes to do that, right? Uh, you can also say that uh, whatever, the, num the name or the particular noun or the proper noun, the common noun or the verbs or the adjectives, you will do like this. After that, what will you do? You will go to the type of questions. Now, what type of questions do we have in our reading? Let's go ahead and we'll find it out. These are number of paragraphs and the paragraphs are till I. Now, Moving ahead, the first one is reading questions one to five and the questions are, the reading passage has seven paragraphs. Which paragraph contains the following information? And also there is a note given here that you must not skip. That is, you may use any letter more than once. So what will you do? You will do like this. Okay, now there are five things, means there are five sentences. Let's go and find out what is the other type of questions, the other set of questions. And this is true, false, not given. Wow. So true, false, not given. And what is the third type? That is about which correct about, which is correct about the butterflies. Okay, a type of MCQs, yes. So which type of question will you do first? This is the set of questions which you can do first. Why so? Because these are less time consuming as compared to the other two types, means the MCQs as well as this one. So you will start with this. You will start with true, false, not given, and then you will complete, okay? First of all, I am giving you time you can do this, you can practice this. Yes. Now you can just have a look at the reading passage and you can find out the various words which you might have seen in the questions. After that, you will go to true, false, not given. I'll be doing true, false, not given with you guys so that you understand what is the problem, where do you lack. 
If the statement is totally true, the answer would be true. If the statement is contradictory, one or two words or the meaning of it, and that is contradictory, it is opposite to it, so the answer is false. And if you do not find the meaning or you do not find the word in the passage, in the context, the answer will be not given. Now make sure that you do not write yes, no, not given instead of true, false, not given. It is if you write yes, no, not given, your answer will be marked as wrong. It will not be corrected as right because the questions are about true, false, not given and not yes, no, not given. So let's first of all find out all butterflies colors of wings. First of all, the keyword which I need to see all. This is very important because these are the qualifiers and the quantifiers. By this, the examiner confuses you, right? They want to um, confuse you that most often, never, some few, these are the words which always confuse the student. All butterflies, colors of wings reflect the sense of warning to the other predators. Now, if I go to the reading passage, let me see and find out. Do I find this word? Do I find predator or uh, the wings? And uh, these are the butterflies. Yes. And then we have the butterflies again. The damselflies, damselflies. Then we have... Um, the keywords here are colors of wings, colors of wings and predator. So let me see if we can get this word here, colors of wings and predators. And yes, the bright colors, butterflies, bright colors, warning are the warning signals. And they send out a message to any predators. Okay. So we have got it, but although some of the butterfly bright colors, some, they are not talking about all, but they're talking about some. So the answer is false. Now in this way, you have got the answer, some of the butterflies and it is contradictory. It is not same as given in the passage, as given here. So all and some, they do not match each other. That is why the answer is false. Moving next, insects may imitate butterflies' wing patterns as well. So I want to find insects and imitate. Because I have got a noun, that is the subject they're talking about, and the verb is they imitate. So obviously it will be after this, uh, and because wearing certain patterns of for protection, clusters, impositors, then do they imitate only a single ring to be found in an area? The idea is mega centers a point. It's exceptionally rich. If you can find out the same thing related to they imitate, it means they have the kind of copy or we can find out the other word which will be related to. If I find insects somewhere, if you get this mimetic species in the region, then we have major problems, mystery of mimetic exuberance, the Western edge, the trick was to find out the butterflies were organized. Okay, so I've got this and it is here. They can comprise up to 85% of individuals in a mimicry ring and the patterns are mimicked not just by the butterflies, but by other insects, I diverse as damsel files and true bugs. So it is all given here. So the answer is true. So in this way, you can find out, I'm just giving you the time so that you can also complete this and you can check the answers. 
this is the first set of questions. The reading passage has seven paragraphs and you have to complete it. Then we have six to 11 questions. These are true, false, not given. And the next one is 12 and 13 questions. Those are MCQs. Now the reading answer key is given in front of you and that is this one. So now you can do this, practice this test and make sure that you share with everyone. All the best guys, do well, practice hard and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Take care, bye-bye.